Hey everybody, Jat here with another edition of League of Learning. This week we are going to be talking about items because there were 20 item changes in the patch that we will be playing LCS on this weekend, so let's jump right in. First up, I want to talk about Runeglaive. No longer applies on spell effects, so that's Ezreal's Mystic Shot. Doesn't apply it, but if you watched last week's League of Learning, shouldn't affect him. Mainly a buff to Eve and Nidalee. Look at Spear Passage, that helps Soraka. People she's healing, she'll heal for more if they have that item. And Righteous Glory, that hurts tanks a little bit that we're using it as an initiation tool, but it still makes you just as fast and is just a little bit weaker on slightly lower cooldown. Definitely not dead as an item. Jumping into the Seda Devour, the more important thing right here, big player in solo queue, maybe not a huge player in the LCS. Specifically, the stacking mechanics is what I want to look at right here. Epic Monsters, that's Dragon and Baron, giving five stacks, and Scuttle Crab, Crab giving two stacks are the biggest things that pro players will have to control if they want to build this item. Kale, I think, is the most powerful with this thing, followed by the rest of them who have a chance of seeing LCS play. It might take some time because the play style of the team has to change into a heavier jungler farm style in order to see it. But the power of this item when it turns on, as you've seen in solo queue, may warrant play in the LCS. Looking at the AP items now, the brunt of the changes. Let's compare the most common three item build we would see on the old build versus the new patch. So 7,900 gold for that old combo, 8,300 gold, but gold efficient stats across the board. So mainly the thing you have to take away from this is you can still build those as your first three items, but it will be more expensive and it will be worth it when you complete, but you won't be at the same power point until later on into the game. Also, Needlessly Large Rod now builds into five items instead of three, which gives you flexibility. Another thing that gives you flexibility is the fact that Needlessly Large Rod is now only 1,250 gold, and the build paths of the already smooth first items is even smoother now. Morellonomicon and Athene's Unholy Grail, if you just look at the cheap, cheap, cheap cost of those components, it's really easy to build whenever you have to go back to base. You can always come back with more, more powerful items. Uh, from there, we have to look at Rumble, who is one of the biggest winners on this patch, actually, because his core item, the only person who really rushes a Leandries, is getting a pretty big buff. 30 more ability power for only 100 gold. He was already picker ban phase in a lot of LCS comps, that is going to increase to more bans and more picks in the LCS. Also, looking at some of the max item builds, we touched on the needlessly large rod. This is the old max item build with all three 120 AP items. It used to give 711 AP. Now with those same items, because some of those items have been taken down a peg, it would max out at 696. So there are some other alternative build routes you could go. If you start Morellonomicon into the Seraph's Embrace, you get 787 ability power. Or if you want to go all out into a bunch of mana, really slow power curve with a giant peak, you can get nearly 860 ability power if you go tier into Catalyst and then rush all those giant AP items. So a lot of different options you could see. The biggest option you have, though, is this Rylai's Crystal Scepter. Maybe the most impactful change as far as the AP items go in this patch. Slows no longer stack, so Rylai's needed the change. But the biggest change here is the fact that the AoE slow is 40% for one second. And think about that potential on these potential champions. Zig's alt, Zareth alt, those slow for 40% now. A lot of kind of cool interactions that if people are willing to experiment and find room in their build pass for the Rylai's, these could be absurdly powerful. These are the champions I picked out that have the biggest synergies with the Rylai's. Brand and Velkaz will also fit in there, but you only have so much space on the screen. This is the thing that could provide the most disruption, and I'm excited to see pros try out Rylai's in the LCS or in other pro leagues across the world. That will do it, though, for this League of Learning. There are a lot of items to cover, so I hope you learned something.